Chris Food Bank and the Islamic Society of Central Florida are working to get food to people who've been impacted by this storm. Coordinators have set up a food distribution site on Old Winter Garden Road, and that's where Western's Tony Atkins is now. What you see right behind me here is 20,000 pounds of food, all available for people who need it. The second harvest says this is all in response to Hurricane Ian. A line of vehicles, people waiting patiently, hoping to stock up their cupboards and fridges following Hurricane Ian. On these pallets, enough food to make about 16,000 meals. We've got some bananas, mm -hmm. um, and then we've got some other fresh produce. We've got squash, cabbage. Second Harvest says it's enough food to feed 400 families for a week. As soon as Ian passed through, they worked with local partners to mobilize. So Hurricane Ian kind of added a layer of need in our community on top of what already existed in Central Florida. On any day, one in seven of our neighbors is facing food insecurity. People in line like Virginia here say they're appreciative of the help. See them, I get so excited because I know I can. I was gonna go to the Dollar Tree, but I see them. I know I'm in good shape today. Great. I can save back the money for gas. Like many others, the food bank has seen impacts in recent months due to supply chain issues. Nonetheless, their mission persists. Today we're trying to have kind of two options for people. So if they have electricity and can cook, we've got the fresh produce and things that they can make some meals with. And then if they're still without electricity or access to running water, um, we've got meals ready to eat and some potable water. I would love if, if more people could donate stuff to them so they can have it do it more often. Because yeah. they don't do it that often and it's such a good place that help in the community. And Second Harvest says food will be available all throughout the day as long as supplies last. For now, reporting in Orlando, Tony Atkins, West 2 News. Coming up, a new problem for air travelers. We will explain why your upcoming holiday trip could be delayed or even canceled. But first, we'll have more on how you can help get relief to Central Floridians who were hit hard by Hurricane Ian. The number to call right now, 407-830-9374. These volunteers are standing by to take your pledges and donations. Every little bit helps, stays right here in our community, helping families in need. <laughs> 